Yo, what's up guys? Mark here. Today it's December 22nd and it's the Christmas season. So today we're gonna have a Christmas party. Yeah, we're getting really close to Christmas and it's the time to be jolly, spend time with friends and family. So yeah, today we're having a Christmas party. Right now it's about 44 degrees out in Lawrenceville, Georgia. And we pulled up to Nam Dai Moon Farmer's Market and that's where we're gonna get some food for the party. Some mackerel, and some frog legs. Ooh. Alright, this is what we're gonna get for the party. Yeah. All right, now we're in the woods and we got Pierre out. Sir? It's a Christmas party. That's right, got the hat on, the Christmas hat. And for a Christmas party, you already know, we got a Christmas tree. Wait, let me take this one off. I don't need to see that. Very nice, got it from Walmart. All right, now we can start the Christmas party. So when y'all think of Christmas, y'all probably think of like turkey, but today we got some thin, some alligator meat. That's how we're coming for this Christmas. Today we're gonna be chefing up some Cajun alligator nuggets. But yeah, Christmas only comes once a year. So we're gonna try some different, some alligator. Sometimes I like to eat stuff that's not fish. Make the fire. Fire! Some oil. Pierre's cold. <laughs> Alright, let's cut the alligator. Smell check. Smells like fish. Give it a smell. Very slight fish. Looks like chicken, don't it? Yeah, I'd say so. Hey, what y'all think? It looks like chicken, but like got weird tendons in between, huh? Like what's that? How do how you explain that? It looks like chicken. The color. The color, the way it's kind of built low key, but I say it's a little bit more thick. Look at the cuts, folks. Okay. All right, we got this flour mix right here. And we also got some Cajun seasoning from when we had the fried fog legs. So I mixed some flour and the Cajun seasoning. And that's what we're gonna bread it up. We're gonna grill these two on the, these couple ones on the grill. <laughs> Go crazy. <laughs> I think that's good, Mark. Uh, let's see. Tenders. You gotta check your oil, folks. <laughs> Do a little toss. <laughs> Yo, oh no. Soy! Oh, no. Whoa! Oh. He is fumbling bags, y'all. Watch out. You gotta watch out for him. You ready? LeBron James. We miss you a Merry Christmas. We miss you a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. Damn, look at how, look at how dirty this got. Fire! No way, it's broken. Yo, bro, we might have to move over to the pagoda. Change of plans, it's starting to rain now. You can see it. And we gotta run and get the cover. Dang, why does the rain always mess up my videos? <laughs> Every time I try to film, the rain messes it up. Angry Santa! Alright guys, we moved spots. The rain couldn't stop us. Now we got some nice cover. 
that we're gonna continue the Christmas party. All right, grill time. Fire, fire, fire. It's not working recently. Fire. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. All right, now we're gonna salt these alligator pieces up. Okay. All right, come on, guys. Bye, uh. All right, let's resume from before. All right, looking pretty good. Never toss the excess bread. Toss it out, folks. Oh. We're really having a Christmas party. Me and alligator. I think this kind of weird. Nah, man. That's the main dish. Yeah, nah, it's fine. It's fine. People who think outside the box are the people that make it in life anyway. I think of like Steve Jobs. At that time, all the phones had buttons, right? But he made it all a touch screen. Something like that at the time was like was totally uncommon. But now think about it. All of you are watching this video on what? A iPhone. So yeah, so people who think outside the box that make it in this capitalism world. So all of you watching this on an Android, y'all are gonna make it too. Yeah, bro. No matter what you do, bro. Look. All right, next small pot. And today we're making some miso soup. It's pretty cold out today. And yeah, we're gonna warm up with some miso soup. And then for water, we got some. Ding! Some crystal geyser. Woo! Precipitation. All right, let's flip these bad boys. Wow. Uh, uh, nice and golden brown. So good. We're gonna take the strainer, put it in like this. Take the miso. We got a lot of water in here, so take a big, big bit. And mix it up. The more miso, the more salty it's gonna be. Mmm, smells yummy. Right, let's see. Put a little bit more. That, isn't that a weird smell? It smells good to me. It smells good? I don't know, the crocodile smells. No, I um, love that. I'm it's telling you, bro, I'm used to all of this. I'm not like grown up on this, but like in my times of like remembering, shit, this is what I was eating, you know. Mm. There it is. And the grilled alligator, nice and nice and brown. All right, let's eat. This is my thing. So good. It has like a chewy consistency. For me? It tastes like popcorn chicken. With this, with this seasoning. Mmm. Juicy. Honestly, folks, it does taste better. That's what the inside looks like. Very good. Um, oh, yeah, let's dip it. We're going to dip it in the sauce. I mean, in the miso soup. <laughs> Yeah, flavor up. It warmed it up. Mm. So good, y'all. I'm gonna try miso soup. Mm. That'll warm you up for sure. Okay. <clears throat> It tastes different from the miso soup you've had in the past. Yeah, one. I do. It's because it's the uh, the white miso. White miso is different than what? It's like right white miso and red miso mixed together mm. is what most miso is. I think I'm not sure though. That pure white stuff. Mm. Oh, it just got a really gamey taste. That was good. The miso? No, the alligator. I right, now I'll try some of this grilled grilled piece right here. Mmm. 
different. More cha ching. This one, you get more of the alligator mm -hmm. taste. More of that. I've been lurking in water, but can <laughs> go on the hand. Oh, yeah, there it was. Mmm. That's. Mmm. Wow, okay. Doesn't taste fried, like chicken at all. Fried really diminishes the flavor, <laughs> folks. Doesn't taste like chicken at all. This is alligator. <laughs> like, this is alligator. This is. You could pass it as chicken. Yeah, for sure. Wow. Okay. And just uh, switch things up a little bit. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. <laughs> Had to tear it. Dude, you can really taste the fish yeah. element. The aquatic element. Yeah, that threw me for a loop. That was a curveball. Mm -hmm. Like from this to this, <laughs> sharp, sharp exit from what you knew. It's good. I, no, 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 no. I like it. I like it. Um, not as good as like fried. Yeah, not as good as the fried. And then see if you had the fried and we had the the true boudin balls. Oh my goodness, that's when things really ramp up. You know, when you fry, the texture's not as chewy too. Mm -mm. Everything changes, like everything, texture, consistency. Chicken, Cajun popcorn chicken. That's because of the seasoning. That's probably what it is. And then the texture's like chicken, so it's like. It doesn't confuse you at all. I think this is the one item I like with salt more than Mark does. You like getting the miso? See what I mean? Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Woo! That was good. All right, after finishing a meal, then Crystal Geyser. Oh, so good. All right, welcome to the new segment where we answer questions on Chef and Up and Mark. Ooh. All right, this one got the most upvotes on, on the last video. Le Lemano? Look. Lemonano. This is quickly becoming my favorite Catch and Cook channel. Those edits when you find a cicada have me rolling. Keep it strange. Appreciate that, Lemonano. Hope I said your name right. But yeah, this is what we do. It's because we're strange, folks, and that's because we know how to make quality content that's going to make y'all have fun. It's going to keep on happening, folks. Yeah, we're going to keep the same editing, we all got that. everything we need before us, and y'all are just our fuel. All right, this is my favorite comment from the last video. I have learned a lot about cooking seafood, and it's very interesting catch and cook. Plus, Mark is nice to cats. You already know. Appreciate it. Got to put the cats in the video, you know. His cats are scared, though. They're not nice to most strangers. So him being nice to them is actually, he's, he's, he's gained a relationship with them. Next comment. Mark is built different. Anyone who will just grab a house centipede is not average. I'm just used to it. I've seen a bunch of videos of people doing it. So I just act like I'm them. Dang it, Tasha. Okay. All right. Peter got a comment. Hmm? Person named Noah, or Noah Stello. I love how Zudi your boy is every time he tags along. <laughs> Y'all know I be in Yodi land. <laughs> I'm here for my boy. All right, that sums it up for this week's comment. Chef up and Mark comment section. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my Patreon. Check out the merch. And this Christmas, y'all. Merry Christmas, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Bye.